We believe that all people have the, the right, right to adequate, adequate housing and health care. We work to remove the barriers that restrict access to these rights. Society benefits when adequate housing and health care are available to everyone. For 30 years, homeless individuals and families in Colorado have gathered at the door of the Stout Street Clinic, knowing they would receive high-quality, compassionate care. For people who live in the shadows, it is a lifeline. It's a matter of survival. It keeps you, it grounds you. You're, you feel like you can come here and patiently wait no matter how sick or disturbed or off you are and somebody will come out um, and make it possible for you to get the care that you require. Hello. Hi. Hello, Joe. How are you doing? I'm finally back. I'm sorry it took me oh, so long. Okay. Nice to see you. Patient-centered, trauma-informed. You hold it up with your hands? Efficient and effective. Colorado Coalition for the Homeless provides health care tailored to the needs of the most vulnerable. So it's not out here in the sides? No, it's mostly on the knee. Not up here above, not down here below. It's below the knee cap. The coalition creates lasting solutions to homelessness by first responding to emergency needs, then tackling the underlying issues facing its clients and communities. What they do for the homeless, they do an excellent job. You know? You know, they don't put you down. They just want to know what your problem is. They'll help you as best way they can. Yeah, they've been beaten down, essentially. And what we found is that if you can remove the barriers to access to the care, and center it around the needs of that individual, it's going to be more successful for them uh, in your opening doors rather than uh, the normal, which is doors closing in people's face. So being able to uh, assemble those and be able to coordinate those in a holistic way is not only good for those individuals, but we think good for the community. So when we opened up the uh, Stout Street Clinic at the corner in 1985, uh, we had a staff of eight, and we saw about 2,000 people that year. Uh, last year, we provide services for uh, over 11,000 uh, patients through about 100,000 encounters, so it's grown significantly since. 22, 22. As demand for services grew and the aging Stout Street Clinic became outdated, the coalition began to envision a new state-of-the-art integrated health care center and housing complex. The new building, it's a five-story building. Uh, the first two floors are devoted to health services. So um, it's 54,000 square foot, brand new health center that incorporates our dental clinic, um, our vision clinic, our pharmacy, and four medical integrated healthcare suites that are meeting the, the needs of homeless families and individuals. On the upper three floors, we've been able to incorporate 78 units of supportive housing 20 of them for families and the balance for single individuals. We've designed the building with uh, green energy efficiency features uh, to, uh, to not only meet the healthcare needs of those that we're serving, but to reduce the impact on the environment as well. In the past, primary care, behavioral care, housing assistance, and other help were provided in multiple locations by different teams. Now, all services are conveniently obtained in one suite from one care team. To have a behavioral health professional and a psychiatrist on your team sitting next to you where you can ref do a quick referral or, or just kind of a, a sidebar consultation, it's very rewarding and comforting as a, as a provider. Um, and then the clients, you know, they'll come in and they see you, you help them with their, their diabetes and their blood pressure, but you also are able to address the fact that they're depressed or you know, they're having behavioral issues that's preventing them from dealing with their physical care. Right here too. Mm -hmm. It takes a burden off us dealing with our own health care, whether it's mentally, physically, um, our own issues that we have to do. There's somebody here that can help you and, and help you go through what you have to go through. Who do you need to see today? We consider them our people and we will take care of them that day and help them with what they need that day because they may not be able to come back another day because they may not have bus fare or they may have to stand in another line at a food kitchen or to get their food stamps. We are reducing barriers as much as we can for folks. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's such a tough life that they lead and anything that we can do to, to make their lives easier um, is, 
is, is going to be incredible. Not having a stable home increases risk for serious health problems and complicates treatment, exposing people to additional trauma. So the coalition builds housing with the needs of its clients in mind. We strongly believe that all rooms should have a lot of light coming into them, that light provides uh, sort of a lightness of heart to the spirit. With all of our units, we really look to see how we can best serve the homeless population as they come off the streets and provide a living space in both location and in the environment itself that supports their ability to come out of homelessness and stabilize into society. The residents that have been accepted to live here, they are ecstatic. Coming into a building like this, brand new, literally fresh off the streets, it's like a dream come true. They're walking into their perception of a mansion. And clients can easily and quickly access their clinic care team. Like allergies going on and just ain't feeling too good. It's really good for me to, there's no excuse of why I can't go to the doctor because it's right next door, so. It's really nice for me. If we can provide that state-of-the-art health care and send them back to a quality, safe, uh, healthy environment, uh, their own home, uh, not only is, is their health care going to improve, but all of the foundations of their lives, their ability to get back into the workforce, to be able to be productive, to be able to re-engage with family, all of those things are enhanced. So in the end, we believe that housing is health care. Hi guys, very good to see you. Please come in. It's kind of a, a game changer, what I've told a lot of friends. And I think that there are a few things that are, it opens up for me. And one is um, just to be able to have a really simple thing is to be able to have nutrition, to be able to have a full size refrigerator to do shopping and to not try to scavenge meals at different locations. And I think that that will really help improve my health. But to have this as kind of a, um, a base, as kind of a sanctuary is really um, an extraordinary gift. The Coalition's Stout Street Health Center and Renaissance Stout Street Lofts are transforming the lives of its clients, staff, and the surrounding communities of the Denver metro area. I think a, a community that uh, treats those who are considered the least amongst us, those who have the least resources and are not able to take care of themselves, I think is, is a great community. Uh, we have great uh, people in our community who are our supporters who make it possible for us to do this great work. Uh, if it weren't for them, we wouldn't be able to be successful in developing housing and health care and delivering it in the quality way that we are. I was in the elevator a couple days ago with a guy, very tall man, and I said, how do you like our digs? And he said, I, he said, I can't even begin to explain to you what it means to come into this place where it was built for us. He said, we usually get the worst of the worst. He said, I, he said, I don't even know what to say to you. It feels to me like a nonstop miracle. We all believe that this is a place where, where we create hope and health and hopefully a better future. We create lasting solutions to homelessness. By honoring the inherent dignity of those we serve. Affirming their capabilities and, and fostering, fostering their hope that, that a better, better life, life is possible.